everyone. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Now, you guys may or may not know this, but I put an Instagram story up the other day of you guys trying to guess which car I'm currently in. And now it's time to reveal that I am possibly in the worst example of a bug eye WRX Subaru. So a lot of you guys probably know this already, but I traveled over to America a few days ago. It's probably why the only video that you guys have seen in the last week is of me at Morton Island. And yeah, that was kind of a boring video. So I'm really sorry and I apologize for that. But today is gonna to be something completely different. I always say it's gonna be something completely different and it's not. Today it actually is. Today I'm gonna to be driving on American roads in a manual car which I don't know how to drive. Um, yeah, bit of fun. So this car right behind me is a, I believe it's a 2002 or 2005 or something like that, Bug Eye WRX Subaru. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly what the branding is on it at the moment. All it says is WRX and all it says is nothing on the back as well. So I don't know whether it's an STI or, I'm pretty illiterate when it comes to these cars. However, this is probably the worst example of a Subaru of this kind. I mean, I love the color, but the actual car itself and the mods that have been done to it, you know, there's not enough care in it. And um, yeah, it's a very, very odd car. So anyway, I'll take you guys for a walk around it. And I thought also what I should add is this is my brother's first car. So he lives in America. You guys might have seen him commenting on some videos and stuff like that, saying that I should get a manual and all this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, this is what he has. And this is why he likes to, um, this is why he likes to uh, yeah, comment on my things and tell me to get a manual because he has an all-wheel drive uh, manual turbo Subaru. And he thinks he has more street cred. He probably does. So there's a beautiful fake carbon wrap around there and there's actually a carbon hood. Now you can see that all the clear coat is also peeling off and the corners have also snapped off. And uh, that was because these, uh, these fabulous hood pins um, weren't on one day and they went to go drive it and it came up and it, uh, it hit the roof. So all these fiberglass bumpers are all zip tied on as they usually are. Um, wheels are plastered it black and uh, all the inner guard linings have all been ripped out. The guards have actually been rolled, which is very odd. Yeah, the interior is pretty, pretty clean, to be honest. It's actually decently clean. I sit really close to the steering wheel, so don't worry about that. Um, yeah, it's decently clean. Could do with the tidy up. Stance Nation, get on this boy. God damn. So my brother also told me that this car has actually been tuned before. Now, I actually do kind of trust him in a way that it does feel like it's pushing more boost than, than what a standard WRX probably should. It's a lot of fun. It's got an aftermarket uh, blower valve as well. I believe it's got an aftermarket intercooler and other stuff like that. It's also got gauges as well, which I'm not quite sure come with the WRX. I'm pretty sure they don't. But yeah, it has gauges and everything else as well. Um, and the original owner said it was around about 200 150 to 280 horsepower. I'm not quite sure about those stats, but um, yeah, I, I could probably believe it. Now, I'm actually filming this after I've gone for a drive, so I'll catch up with you guys in my driveway and uh, we'll go for a little bit of a drive. Alrighty, guys, so we're in the Subaru right now. I'm not quite sure what you probably heard in the intro. I'm not quite sure about the whole naming of the Subarus or anything like that. All I do is I just call it a bug eye. It's manual shift. This thing comes off. It's honestly like yeah, it's, it's not the best example of a Subaru. The clutch is extremely heavy and I don't exactly have my manual license over in Australia. So I'm gonna quickly point out everything that's different for me at the moment. So um, apart from the fact that I'm also driving on the different side of the road, I'm also driving manual, which I absolutely never do ever. Manual is in my right hand. So yeah, left hand, right hand. Manual is in my right hand. Windscreen wipers are on the wrong side. Indicators on the wrong side. Wheel is on the wrong side of the car. So the only thing that is the same to an Australian car, the pedals are the exact same. So you have clutch, brake, accelerator. So I did mention before that this thing is in fact straight piped. Ah. Yeah, you guys ready? On the sound just so you can hear it. You ready? I've never driven 
sort of stuff that I'm familiar with from like video games and stuff like it's just such a really really cool car So even though this car is a complete slug and uh, even though it's not the greatest example of a Subaru, I can really appreciate this car for what it is. It's really just like a junkyard spec um, Subi that's got a straight pipe and, and it's disgustingly loud and it's got a, a really high pitch blow off valve. But that's kind of like, I feel like this is the way that a car of this nature should feel like. It should feel ugly and disgusting and, and just... You know, it's so much fun to drive. It's really fun to drive. And I can really appreciate this car for what it is. Like, I don't I don't feel like just because it's dirty and disgusting that this car deserves, like, you know, nothing more than, nothing more than the scrap. This car is really fun to drive. I really enjoy driving it. It's something so different compared to what I'm normally in. Like, my Falcons are really big and heavy and, you know, they're just massive cars to drive. Whereas this, it's so light and nimble and... 
you know, it just feels it just feels so much raw than my car. Anyway, guys, I want to hear your opinion. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And uh, if you like the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like my videos. Anyway, I will see you all very soon and I'll do a video with the Dodge Challenger. See you guys later.